clean. It is one of everyone's greatest fears being told you have aggressive brain cancer and possibly months to live. And that's the news for one South Bend firefighter and father of five that he heard three months ago. But as WSBT's Zach Crenshaw reports, he considers the diagnosis a blessing. Four months ago, Josh Como was having bad headaches and trouble collecting his thoughts. I felt like I was kind of losing my mind, you know, like I was just that mental break was happening. It got so bad that Josh had a parked car while driving a fire truck. Protocol mandated he be checked out, and eventually, that's how he found out what most would consider bad news. You've got lesions on your brain, you know, anywhere from the from a plum to an avocado size. And I was like, wow, that's great news. <laughs> and it was only great in the sense that I thought, okay, something's actively trying to kill me. I'm not losing my mind. I can deal with this. Despite the diagnosis, Josh and his wife, Rosary, were determined to push forward. He was being wheeled back from the MRI, and I told him, like, if we're going to do brain surgery, then we're just going to kick brain surgery's butt. Doctors removed 90% of the avocado-sized tumor in his brain, and then the doctor outlined the future, 14 months to live. After he said that, I was just like, you know, thanks, Doc. You're very smart. You're, you're more learned in these matters than I hope to be, but you're not God, and that's who I'm going to cling to. Josh, Rosary, and their five children, all under the age of eight, rely heavily on their faith. And if God's plan includes not keeping me around, he's got some great plans for them, and he's going to take care of them far better than I will. Many who get cancer live in fear, but Josh considers his illness a blessing. I'm not going to die from cancer. I'm going to learn how to live from cancer. It's strengthened our love for one another even more, and I'm just really great. I don't take those moments for granted anymore because I don't, I don't know how many more we'll have. Now, Josh has stage four glioblastoma, which has a less than 10% survival rate, but there are some people who have gone on to live for years, and Josh is determined to be one of them, and mm. he has got a contagious spirit. He does. Yeah, such a beautiful Absolutely. family, and yeah, yeah, just a strong faith, too. You can tell his faith is a big reason. Absolutely. He's not letting it get him down uh, at all. And there is a lot to learn from a guy like yes, him. It is. Absolutely. I mean, I left there inspired spending the morning with him, and it, yeah. it really just a great person to meet. Yeah. Wow. Good story.